Hello YouTube, this is Lobo and the Stray Dog Mining Crew. Uh, I was going to make a uh, video here on how to hone in on areas to prospect for precious minerals such as gold. And um, basically I'm just going to do a series of short videos using some various online resources I use, uh, pretty much all of which are government. Uh, this is the United States Geological Survey, the USGS. This is their mineral resources data system. I will post a link below. Uh, and essentially what you can do is you can search for all the mines that have ever been registered with the federal government. Uh, and I believe there's like over a quarter million of them um, in this database. Uh, if you know the name of a mine in particular, a famous mine, or one you're curious about, you can plug it in there and you can do a search against that. Um, or you can search by state and or by state. I'm going to be searching in Colorado, where I reside. Uh, country, anywhere, that's fine. Commodity. Now this is a list of everything that's ever been mined in the United States, or wherever you're searching. Um, includes all minerals. We're looking for gold. Uh, operation type, I got have any selected, but you can see there are a number of ways that you can mine for precious materials. We'll do any, or, or if I happen to know what the ID number is of the mine, I can simply plug that in, uh, in addition to the name. So we have uh, Colorado Gold, and then I'm searching, and what this is going to return is, this is going to give me back all of the... Um, gold mines that have ever been in Colorado and I can basically choose a format to import these and the format that I'm going to be importing this into is Google Earth. So let me scroll down a little bit here and you can see that this there are 6,204 gold mines uh, in, the, in Colorado. Uh, let me select my format as Google Earth. We'll get data. Here we go. So get the data file here, or the compressed data file, either one you can download and basically launch this into the Google Earth. You can save it to your disk or click on this and launch Google Earth. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've already downloaded it. Let me close my browser. And then here we are in Google Earth. And we are in the great state of Colorado, the Rocky Mountain High. And off to the left hand side, uh, this is where I do my prospecting and researching out of. And I've already downloaded the mineral resource data system. I'm going to select it. And voila, there's the 6,204 gold mines that were in Colorado. Uh, as you can see here, um, if the pickaxes are up, it's a current mine. If they're inverted, it's a closed mine. If it's an X, it's, it's some other type of operation. Generally, it was called a placer. Uh, which is what I look for, which is on creeks and such. Um, so let's go into an area here. I'm just going to examine one of these. Eight. And uh, let's see. I'm going to go to this grouping here. Or, ooh, mineral. Yeah, there's a lot of deposits in mineral. As you can see, you kind of get an idea of where the precious materials uh, are or have been mined for. Uh, now the cool thing about this is is um, you can go to these areas and if there's any rivers or streams uh, or anywhere where the uh, rain is washed through there's a very good likelihood that that's where the uh, gold is going to be at uh, is going to be in these areas here in fact that's where gold is at is where people have mined for it uh, you may find it in locations where it hasn't been discovered before but for the most part uh, this is what you're looking at so when you can zoom in And you can see a large concentration. So let's look at this one by Creed. There's a few of them here. Uh, Oro y Plata. Uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, information on it. You can click on this record and go and I'll show you more detail about it. Um, and it produced gold here. And so this can give you an idea. And you can see all the mines that have been up in this range to the north of Creed. And I promise you, at least during the spring thaw, that there's going to be water running through here. And there's a very good likelihood that there's going to be precious materials running through these little creek systems right here down into Creed. So anyway, that's just kind of one way, uh, many ways that you can try and locate areas uh, that have uh, traditionally produced minerals or where the minerals are at to where you can start getting an idea of where you want to start poking around and start doing a little more research. Uh, I'm going to do another video. Uh, the next video is going to be on actually uh, going to an area and see uh, where there are active gold claims or gold claims that have uh, recently been forfeited or abandoned for whatever reason. Uh, and that will give you another indication. And it's also, too, you want to find out where other claims are at so that if you go out to go prospecting, you don't claim jump because that's a 
very poor form if you do that. Uh, uh, the upside to it is you can find an area where there were claims that there's no longer claims, so you know you can safely go there and uh, do your prospecting for gold because somebody previously had a claim at that location. So, anyway, so this is how you use the geological survey. This is uh, the mineral resource data system, and this will uh, help you locate uh, gold mines in your area or whatever kind of mines that you happen to be looking for. Uh, peace, love, God bless, and I'll talk to y'all later.